Yo, what up, guys? I just connected here playing the Dreamcatcher. Um, yeah, so uh, it just threw me into it. Might as well get going. Uh, the night is dim and quiet. The kitchen faucet runs slowly and the water drips one by one. The TV makes an anonymous background noises and broadcasts upon the show. Cody, the one living room watching TV. He watched and clicked through every channel and amused him, but nothing satisfied him. He decided, he decided to head to sleep. Just forget the day. Every step to, he took up the stairs, Cody thought, another night wasted waiting for my parents to come home, just like yesterday and the one before. After he reached the top of the stairs, ready to set his head down the pillow, a loud burst of anger swept across the hallway from the boy's parents' room. He's like, Daddy, y'all don't say you shouldn't be doing that shit in the day. I'm, I'm still asleep. At least give me some headphones while you and Mommy making stuff. Anyways, um, inches away from the door, he was frozen and quiet, listening to all... All, to all the commotion that happening from on the other side of the door, he didn't catch that what they were saying. Hard to tell what they were arguing. He thought to himself, "I'm gonna beat this bitch up." Is what I'm not him uh, Just as the volume hit the roof, Cody quietly scurried into, inside the room, look, looking down to the ground. A certain boy can't stop thinking about the silent, slight moment he heard what was behind his parents' door. I'm telling you, they're getting nasty. Anyways, the shape of a full moon hung in the window. And Cody took a rest in the comfort zone of his bed. The moon is beautiful, he said. But my parents aren't. They are adults who can't see their child through the light in the dark. But I do. Cody awoke at night. In the night, the moon was still shining at his window. Thirsty and hungry, he, grabbed, he decided to grab a midnight snack from the fridge before heading back to sleep. He closed the door and turned back to the hallway, only to see that it was somehow exploded. Semi-huge wooden pieces floating where the hallway had been. Walk through the aisle. Wait, what? Okay. Walking through the aisle, he sought the reason behind the description. Does the zombie apocalypse commenced? If so, am I an, am I one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse? Step by step, he saw every first time. That's a good time to bring the music. Step by step, he saw every destruction of the hallway, from half-cut wooden floors and antique treasure shedding in pieces, walking the area of goosebumps, head him from head to toe. I need to quit reading so fast. After the unrevealed surprise of the hallway, the boy shall have to walk down the stairs in order to find the answer behind this catastrophe. There's no coming back, I think. Cody reached down the stairs, no trouble. He stumbled in the steps just as he about... As he was about to head to the kitchen, a pack of wolves were all gathered around the living room. Yo, what up, bros? Imaginable to see you don't know what to do besides standing up aside of the TV with no thought or plan. Cody, the pack. Cody, yo, what up? Oh, they pack. They squeal. Cody running for his life. I'm a vegetarian, not a carnivore. My might might taste sprouty and yo tongues. I'm going to run. The boy surprisingly dashed towards the kitchen pantry from being eaten or killed alive as the pack followed Cody's small tail. He safely reached inside the small pantry, but his fear brought more attention outside of the small cabinet. Out of the normal magical fishing net appeared above the boy's head, destined to, e to end all evil underneath the new warrior. With the ability to turn dark magic to light, the new weapon forcefully opened the door and sucked in all the minions... While the evil, the evil shrieks and cry of anger. As the net filled with the misty dark fog, the magic rounds up into a light sunball with great power aimed towards the pack of hungry wolves. Boom! The back house widely open, a huge hole with enemies lying out of the scene. One by one, the creatures of the night fled, whimpering and running from the great defeat. Cody, stand wide in amazement of the edge of the tall cliff. <laughs> Background looks like a nightmare realm as the scenery sets from night to sunset morning. This might be a new adventure I've been waiting. That I've been waiting, thought Cody. Maybe taking a little walk in the area doesn't hurt. But just as a smart hero takes his first step in the new world, he falls to his death. <laughs> what is so what? <laughs> what a change he says this no. <laughs> what? I knew. That's so disappointing. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Uh, that was funny. Good job, man. That was actually funny. That was entertaining. I've never actually read a story 
on the intro, but hey, that was actually kind of cool. Good job, man.